All right, well, welcome to another adventure this morning. This is Saturday, the uh, September 28th, maybe. I always get my dates wrong, I think, but anyway, I'm gonna do another little stream hunt today. I'm not too far from home. This is in Wernersville, PA, in Berks County. Uh, and just to the south of me is the Warnersville State Hospital. And I'm gonna be searching or hunting along the creek here that flows down to that area. It's called Hospital Creek now, at the State Hospital, but I don't think that's what it was originally called. Um, this is a section of State Forest here in Pennsylvania, uh, William Penn State Forest. This particular area is known as the George Wurtz Tract, named after a guy who used to live down this area, and he had a mill that you can see some remnants of still down there at the State Hospital. So, some history to this area. Um, there were Native Americans here, obviously. Well, they were throughout Pennsylvania, but there were some villages that were known to exist. This creek kind of flows through a gap in the hills here, and there were some villages down there. And I've made videos here before. This area is known for the, the Doan Gang back in the late 1700s, you know, a gang of uh, Tories. They were, you know, British supporters, and they robbed the people or British spies and stuff. And supposedly they hid some treasure in this area too, so. But we're just gonna be walking along the creek looking for artifacts, see what we can find. It's gonna be a pretty warm day, I think. It's in the mid 80s. Bugs, the flying bugs are bad today too. Um, I'm ready for some cooler weather, but that's on its way next week. Well, high highs in the 60s, so. Anyway, I'm gonna quit uh, yapping and then we'll uh, get exploring this creek, see what we can find. Yeah, so here's what the start of our adventure looks like. Early fall, beautiful little stream here. And just down that way is the state hospital grounds. But we're not going that way, so we're gonna start heading up this way, see what we can find. And right off the bat, <laughs> I found an old brick, but uh, Looks like there used to be a road along here. There's a there's a modern road up that way, but I wonder if an old road went further down along the creek here. But you know, people have obviously lived along this creek or dumped in it. Here's piece of something down here too. Looks like the remnants of an old mug or something. I just want to quickly address an issue that's come up in some of my videos that people have mentioned. It's the, it's the issue of trash. Um, why don't you haul out all the trash that I'm gonna find, like these broken pieces of pottery, the brick, metal, and all kinds of stuff. Why don't you haul it out with you? Well, to be honest, I can't. My pack is full of my gear and all kinds, there's no room in there. I'm not gonna haul out, you know, sharp pieces of pottery and stuff, um, black, broken glass and stuff. You know, some people mention, you know, taking a trash bag out with you. Well, if I, t if I carry a trash bag with me the whole time, I can't film and do what I'm out here to do. Or uh, they mentioned, well, why don't you tie a trash bag to your waist and stuff like that. You know, I, I'm not gonna be able to film and explore with, you know, trash bag full of broken glass and stuff dangling at my, my waist and stuff. So, you know, it's a shame that the stuff is out here. You know, if I, maybe someday, you know, you, I could come out and make an effort to not film, but just to clean up the trash. That's one thing I could do. But when I'm out here filming like this, I, I can't pick up all the trash I see. So yeah, maybe I could take a piece home or two, but you know, where do you start and where do you stop? So that's the deal with it. We're gonna find a lot of trash because there's a road up here. And I'm not, there's way more trash that we're gonna find that I'm not gonna show. So I just wanna kinda cover that. That kinda comes up, you know, and people mention it. Some people are nice about it, other people were kind of, uh, well, we won't go there. But anyway, so that's the deal with the trash. It's out here. I can't take it all home with me, not while I'm filming. And you can get upset from me for it, but that's the way it is. And here are the remnants of an old stone wall right along the creek. You know, it kinda makes you wonder, like, you know, who built this and why? a long time ago. I was just kind of out here and forgotten. Beautiful day to be out here though.
All right, so I have something cool to show you. I was looking here, I thought, it looked like maybe there's another stone wall. And then I glanced upwards and saw that back there. Now that is interesting. It starts all the way back here. I mean, look at that. It goes all the way up through there. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I'm thinking this might have been the original stream bed. And later on, after some flooding, maybe it went over there, but we're gonna take a look up through there. It looks like it's, there's a stone wall on both sides, it looks like. Interesting. Yeah, there's still some water flowing through this part. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely a channel made for the stream, I guess. I'm not sure, you know. Like I said, there were some mills along this creek and stuff, so maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe this was used to channel some of the water elsewhere. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely some history along here. I didn't know this was here. It, it almost looks like you know one of the locks in a canal system. If you ever seen some of my videos where the where you have the locks like along the Union Canal, that's what this almost looks like. It almost looks like one of the old locks. It's not. There was no canal along this little creek. It's not big enough, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. Well, as far as I know, there was no canal here. I'm pretty sure there wasn't. But anyway, we'll uh, walk along here a little bit. It's pretty cool. An old stone lined channel here. All right, well, I'm going to try and make my way up through here. Like you see some fallen trees more in the back, so we'll see how this goes. But maybe there's some more, uh, maybe there's some artifacts laying around back here. So down here in the water is something interesting. It is just a piece of a mug, but I've, you know, back at the beginning of the video, I showed you that piece of white mug, and I've been seeing quite a bit, quite a few pieces of this, like, you know, what do you call it, white porcelain or whatever, along the creek here. So I think some of them might have been plates or stuff. So that's kind of interesting, you know, like what's, what's the story behind this? You know, was there something you know, did, some, you know, did a restaurant shut down and someone dump a whole bunch of the, you know, the mugs and stuff in the creek here? Or was there something along here? If you know, you can let me know in the comments, but almost like there was like a hotel or something out this way. Yes, yeah, so I'm still in that area. Just, I really like it in here. It's just stone line channel through here. Uh, the main creek is now just over the, just over the way there a little bit, but... I'm definitely going to have to research this when I get home. But I mean, if you know what this is as a viewer, you can let me know down in the comments. And I did a little bit of research before it came, but I didn't remember reading anything about this, this channel here. But sometimes there isn't any information online, so. So I'm finding a lot more of that white porcelain and some other interesting things that let me know that there, there was a building here somewhere that was had, there had been some kind of hotel or tavern or establishment back here, but I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm finding here. Let's go take a look. So, I mean, there's more bricks. Here's some more, this looks like a plate. This is an old piece of slate roofing. There a piece of a bowl, more up there, more bricks. There's a lot of this stuff too, some other fancier type of brick. Another piece of slate roofing tile. There's some more. Looks, looks like another piece of a mug. Piece of a plate. So there's something going on out here. And I say like a hotel or something because all that porcelain reminds me of, you know, the kind of plates and mugs you find in a restaurant or something. So, yeah, I'm really curious now. All right, I'll get back to you. So here's another interesting piece. This isn't any kind of dinnerware. It's kind of white porcelain. It almost looks like it belongs to a smashed up toilet or something. A 
course, all this stuff we're finding could have been just dumped here as well. Like I said, there is a road just up there. So maybe if a restaurant went out of business, maybe this is the place to dump all that stuff. Because, I mean, you do find pottery out in the woods like that, but since it's all the same white porcelain, and there's so much of it, it did come from a house. Huh? It came from some kind of establishment. And on an interesting note, in this area, not right here, but farther up in the hills, there were some uh, old like hospitals and stuff, or sanitariums at one time. They're not there anymore. I'd like to visit those and the remains, but they're kind of on private property. So who knows, maybe, there's, maybe that stuff got dumped here from them. Just trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together again. Here I found a piece of porcelain or china that's got a name on it. So Sterling China Company. Guess I can do some research on that. So I had been back to walking in the creek, but over here is that stone lined channel again that we were in just a little bit earlier. And this is where it comes out to meet the main creek again up there. So let's turn around and take a look back here. Back down there is looking through where we were earlier. We were just kind of on the other side of that log back there. You can definitely see here's that channel again. Kind of comes up. And this is interesting. Here's the end of it. So I don't know, that's interesting. And it would have joined back up with the main creek. Of course that stone line channel was just up there, but it looks like some old stonework continuing along here. I think I see some around the bend up there. But still, lots of pieces of white china and bricks. All over the place here. Plates, and a piece of mug, just bits and pieces scattered around here everywhere. So, continues. The mystery continues. Yes, yeah, so that wall does continue. I see some up that way too.
And at this beautiful spot, you can see you know, the stone wall is now on both sides again. So the pieces of white china continue, but now there's also these glass bottoms here. The other one over here, that are all the same, kind of same style. They look like they came from a restaurant too, actually, or something like that. All right, we're now on the other side of the road. There's a parking area. There's my girl. And of course here the stream. Because there's a continuation of that stone wall. Here it turns into concrete. Kind of interesting thing here. Obviously designed to control water flow. There's probably a gate there at one time. So not entirely sure what this was, but a lot of people that travel around back here and hike back here know that this is here. It's right next to the road. I'm not sure if this was for the mills that are back here or if it was just, I'm not sure exactly, but if you know, you can let me know. It was definitely designed to control water flow through here as well as down further. So, kind of interesting. Hey, right, well, I am parked here, but I think I'm going to continue on up the creek a little bit more yet. Things I will do. It is heating up, so it does feel good to walk through the creek. It is cold, but well, the creek is. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short little adventure. Um, I did go a little bit more ways up the stream, but it is heating up and the uh, little flying gnats are getting really bad today. Uh, we've had quite a bit of a heat wave, like I said, it's gonna be like 86, 87, which for late September is pretty bad here in, uh, up here in Pennsylvania. This will be like 90 degrees later this week, but it will drop down to 60s though soon. So, but it makes those little flying gnats uh, come out again. They're pretty desperate this time of year. You know, I guess their last chance for a meal before they die, I guess. I don't know. But uh, they, they make it difficult to enjoy being out here. But anyway, I'm, I, I did explore. I, I've been up that section a little bit before, so it's a little bit familiar. So I decided it was a good place to stop. So I um, did find some cool stuff. I always like trying to solve mysteries. Like, you know, we've seen all that white china and stuff. I was kind of wondering where it was coming from. Um, the traffic coming back there. But anyway, thanks for coming along. And... Uh, Get out there and explore, see what's out there.